Words are powerful and either you are going to use yours to uplift your man or to tear him down. But in today's video, we are going to talk about seven things. Well, actually eight because I'm going to give you a bonus on things you should never say to a man. Let's get into it. Hey, hey, everybody. Welcome back to another episode of Keeping It Real with Keandra. I am your host, licensed marriage and family therapist, Keandra Jackson. Now, before we get into this list, this is not in any particular order, but I want to remind you that men thrive off of respect. Yes, I'm talking about R-E-S-P-E-C-T. Find out what it means to me. If you are not respecting your man, woo-hoo-hoo-hoo, this is not going to end well for you because you are going to be tearing down his masculinity, his authority in the relationship. And this is not going to work out well for you because you might be doing all of these things and wind up finding yourself single. Boop. So the first thing that you should never say to a man is you never are you always. Now, if you're new to my channel, you may have not heard me talk about this, but there is a difference between I statements and you statements. I statements take responsibility for your actions, for your thoughts, for your feelings. I feel, I like, I want. But when you start to say you always, you never, you are pointing the finger. And essentially, he is going to feel attacked. He's going to feel like you're putting him down and he's going to feel like you never give him any praise. You never, you see how I did that right there? <laughs> you never give him any praise and then negates all of the beautiful and wonderful things that he does do. So if you're like, you never take off the trash, you always are coming home late. Well, is it really? He never takes out the trash? Like not once? Is he always coming home late? Like he never is on time? Are there any exceptions to this rule? It's not giving him an out or an escape from your foolery. So basically just know how to talk to your man, make sure you're not hindering the communication and be aware of your words. Saying you never take out the trash is very different than every time I come home, I feel exhausted and tired and seeing the trash not being taken out makes me feel even more drained. That's different than this. The second thing that you should never say to a man is, does this look good on me? Am I looking fat in this? Does it look like I gained weight? <laughs> because if you are asking him that, baby, you are asking for trouble because what he's going to do is nine times out of 10, he probably gonna lie. <laughs> Now, it depends on what type of man that you have, but most men don't want to hurt your feelings, especially when it comes to weight. Because, you know, women gain weight for multiple reasons. It could be be before or after having a child. It can be due to medical issues. It can be due to age, all different stress, all different types of things. And if you are posing a question like that to your man, you need to make sure that you want the honest to God truth. Because if he says, yes, it looks like you gained some weight. Nah, you don't look good in that. You can't be in your feelings and get your feelings hurt because he was honest about it with you and to you. So if you go for those questions, be ready for the real answer and don't get mad at him if he does say yes. He's just being honest and truthful. Also, if he says no, he may be lying too. <laughs> The third thing that you should never say to a man is you need to man up. You ain't ish. Man up. You a little B word. Anything that is attacking his masculinity is not going to work out for you. This is going to cause a rip, discord, probably ongoing arguments because basically you're saying that he's not man enough for you, that he needs to step up to the plate, that he's not doing a good job. And it makes him feel like he's probably more on the feminine end. Now, I'm not going to get into the whole masculine feminine energy because I believe that men and women both have masculine and feminine energy. And this is the conversation for that. But just make sure you're not attacking his manhood because if you do, he's never going to trust you again in the back of his head. He's always going to be like, mm, she said I wasn't man enough. Mm, she called me a little B word. Mm, she did. Er, she did. Right. And he's going to be very hard for him to get over it. These are the conversations when people bring up stuff from five, 10 years ago. <laughs> this is one of those conversations where remember five years ago, you told me I was a little B word when we was at the park. Yeah, he's been holding that in and it's been bubbling up and now it's pouring out. 
fourth thing that you should never say to a man is there are other men out there who want me. Girl, what? <laughs> Don't you dare say that to this man. And I'm telling you not to say that to this man because it's going to put him in a position, in a place to be like, well, go, go with the other man who want you. And also, if you feel that way, then why are you with this man and why aren't you with the other one? So think about it from the aspect of you're basically saying you're the hottest commodity you're that girl. You're the it factor. You don't have to put up with anything said and done in this relationship because other men want you. If you are an attractive and a desirable person and you take care of yourself, there's always going to be somebody who wants you. <laughs> there's somebody for everybody. There's somebody liking somebody in this world, no matter what your preference is. To throw that back in his face to make it seem like, oh, I got a line of men waiting to be with me so if you don't get it together you are just kicked up out of here so the next one can come in really doesn't speak to the fact that you are trying to nurture this relationship and it kind of feels like you're saying he's replaceable and i'm not saying that people aren't replaceable because i do feel like if you are not putting in time energy work effort and you're trying to grow in this relationship and pour into me and i'm trying to pour into you then absolutely you can get on but this isn't that kind of conversation i firmly believe that if you're saying you have so many options then go be with those other options because you are making him feel bad because if he said that to you and the tables were turned you will feel a kind of way if he said well i got all of these women lined up to be with me you would be like well what well, go be with one of them then. <laughs> or you will feel sad and depressed and you will feel like he doesn't want you and you will feel replaceable like that. The fifth thing that you should never say to a man is I told you so. Now, oftentimes when we say I told you so, it's normally in a condescending tone. We feel like mm, we were right, you were wrong type of energy. It makes him feel like he doesn't have any say so in this relationship. So the next time he wants to share his thoughts and feelings and be vulnerable and express himself to you, he's probably not going to do it because he's going to think you're going to throw it back in his face. And women have a horrible <laughs> reputation for doing that, for throwing it back in a man's face. Because honestly, it's just going to build resentment. And that's not what you want. You want him to feel like you're home. You want him to feel like you're a safe place. You want him to feel like my woman supports me. And if you're saying, I told you so, see, I told you so. Oh, you should have listened to me. I told you so. Who are you? You're not right all the time. And if he did that to you, you would not like it. So we have to think about all of these things that I'm talking to you guys about in regards to reciprocity. You wouldn't want him saying them things to you, so you shouldn't say it to him either. The sixth thing that you should never say to a man is, it's not that big of a deal. Saying that it's not a big deal dismisses his thoughts feelings and it makes him feel like he's not valued you essentially are invalidating him in so many different ways you're minimizing what he has to say you're minimizing his feelings his thoughts what he's going through even though you may not agree or feel like this is something that is a big deal that doesn't mean you should diminish his thoughts and feelings so it's important to validate him. It's important to be like, oh, I didn't know that that was a, a huge thing for you. Or thank you so much for sharing that with me. Or whatever you need to say in the moment to make him feel validated, you need to make sure that he does that. Because again, if you say, oh, it's not a big deal and you brush it off, guess what? Next time something arises, he's not going to tell you. The next time something pops up, and it's a big deal to him, he's not gonna say anything. And once again, that resentment is going to settle down and at some point is gonna bubble over and pour out. And this isn't a pattern that you want to see in your relationship. So make sure that you are validating his feelings, that you are being present, that you are not pushing the stuff to the side or feeling like he shouldn't feel that way or why, that's stupid. Make sure you are not projecting your own thoughts and feelings onto him. Now, number seven, the seventh thing that you should never say to a man is my ex used to. Oh, <laughs> do not say my ex used to fill in the blank. He used to do this. He did this. He said this. He bought me this. He took me here. Do not do that because now we are playing the comparison game. And if your ex was that great and that amazing, why aren't you still with them? Exactly. <laughs> so thinking about you comparing your current partner 
our current dating situation to an ex is inappropriate because you wouldn't want him comparing you to his ex. You wouldn't want him being like, oh, my ex used to have a Coke bottle shape. My ex used to have a big butt and you've got a flat butt. You... <laughs> I'm laughing, but it's true. You don't want to do this comparison factor because we all know that comparison is the thief of joy. And you will literally rob your relationship of joy, of happiness, of good time, comparing him to what somebody else used to do that you're not even with anymore. And the last thing, because you know I had to add a bonus in here. Number eight, the eighth thing that you should never say to a man is, we need to talk. Women got this bad, y'all, because it creates so much unnecessary anxiety because now you're not sure if this is going to be a positive conversation, it's going to be a negative conversation, what is the topic, now your mind is swirling, what time of day did I do something wrong, do I need to buy flowers, <laughs> do I need to prepare to apologize? It creates so much anxiety that you don't want that to be a thing in your relationship. So if you do need to talk to your partner about something that might be very small and minute or something that is big and you guys need to have that conversation, at least put a topic in there. We need to talk about the finances today when you come home from work. Okay, cool. I know that we need to talk about the finances. Oh, we need to talk about how little Billy got in trouble today at school. Okay, cool. We need to talk about how we're going to discipline and what the consequence for his actions are going to be, right? Versus we need to talk. I can't stand this. I get so annoyed when people send me messages like, call me. Why? <laughs> for what? What do you want to talk about? And if it's so important that you need to talk to me, why don't you call me? You know, so those very vague text messages and, you know, communication sentences, um, they just cause a lot more stress and anxiety than it needs to be. So my final thoughts on this is there's just certain things that you shouldn't say to a man, just like there's certain things that you shouldn't say to a woman. We just need to practice empathy. Think about putting yourself in the other person's shoes. If you wouldn't want him to say that to you, then you shouldn't say that to him either. And if you are finding yourself in situations from this list, if you have said any of those things, I don't want you to beat yourself up. I don't want you to wallow in guilt and shame, but just know moving forward that you need to change your language. And if you have never said these things to a man, make sure you don't in the future either. So thank you so much for watching another episode of Keeping It Real with Keandra, and I will see you next time. Be blessed. Bye.